I've been meaning to make this video for a while now because I actually received a lot of requests from you guys to speak on this topic. I told you guys before how I used to lack confidence, lack self-esteem, lack social skills, and there was a few things that I actually did to help myself build my confidence, to build my self-esteem, to build my social skills. Because guys, remember, relationships are the best things to help you be happy in life, to be successful in life, get you to the next level, right? Whether it's business relationships, doing interviews, if you're an entrepreneur, attracting clients, you know, being a salesperson, romantic relationships, because we all know we all want some love, bruh. And uh, what's another thing? Friendships. Yeah, friendships. Everybody wants some friends, right? Even if it's a few friends. I have a small circle of friends and I'm good. I'm good with that. I don't really care to make a ton of friends. But some of you guys, unfortunately, have like no friends, right? So I want to give you guys tips on how I built my confidence, built my self-esteem, built my social skills, so I'm able to achieve all three of those. Now, the first thing is appearance. Now, guys, there are some things about yourself that you just should accept. You cannot change it, such as your height, you know, your ethnicity, the color of your skin. Just accept it. If people don't want to accept you for, for you being black or they want to be racist or just want to discriminate against short people like me who have it so hard, then forget them. There's so many other people. Why the hell do you want to be friends with those people anyway? Now, there are some things that you could actually work on, though, in terms of your appearance, such as your posture at first, like the way you carry yourself, the way you dress. Work on the way you dress, the way you carry yourself, because first impressions count for a lot of things now there's other things you could change get a haircut see you know a lot of times all my hair always grows out and i'm broke and i can't afford a haircut the thing is though is even when it grows out i'm still comfortable with myself i don't mind i'll go out on the street i wouldn't mind talking to people because yo some people just some people just have bad hair day but the thing is is if you can get a haircut if you could fix your hair do it if you could fix your teeth by getting braces do it if you could you know lose everybody could lose weight okay just work out at home or something do it fix your acne Try to f find out remedies that you can work on yourself from the inside out and clear up your face, clear out the toxins. Do it. Even if you're not insecure about it, such as your weight or something, just work on improving your appearance. You don't have to wait until you, you, you're skinny or wait until you have no acne or wait until the gap is gone to become confident. Look at me. I speak on camera. I smile. I never cover my teeth. I don't cover my big ass forehead. I just... You know, I'm just comfortable with who I am. It took me a while, but I just focused on developing that self-esteem so I'm able to do stuff like this, talk to you guys, and be transparent with you guys, and show my teeth, and show my forehead, and show my flaws to everybody. Because I guarantee you, your flaws, you think about it more than other people. Another thing I did was I spoke to people, speak to people, try to do things to build your social skills. I know a lot of you guys go online and probably watch videos on how to build your confidence, how to build self-esteem, how to get rid of social anxiety. You guys probably read books, but the thing is, is no matter how many videos and books you read or watch, you just will not be able to build those social skills unless you actually go out and talk to people. Okay, well I did in grade 11, man, I couldn't even speak to, I was so shy. I was so shy to speak to girls, I just had a, a hard time doing it. Now I'm able to speak to girls, can I get all of them? No, I'm not really a ladies man, but the thing is, is I can still speak to them and be confident when I'm speaking. I don't, I, sometimes I could get some, you know, I could get a little nervous here and there because the, the, the shyness does come back from the past, but I'm a lot more better at it. In grade 11, man, I spoke to a ton of girls, I swear. Did I get any of them? No. But, but I spoke to a lot of them and I built my confidence so much. That was actually my transition phase from my shyness, social awkwardness, my social anxiety to where I am now, where I'm more confident. So basically guys, you have to go out there and speak to people. Even if it's to other guys, man, or girls to other girls, guys to other guys, if you're in class, like classmates, uh, 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 co-workers, speak to them, even do small talk. Small talk, like learn to actually small talk with people. And even if it's like awkward or it's like a lame social interaction, don't blame yourself for it. A lot of people blame themselves for lame social interactions. Instead of saying it's like an equal, it's like a, a, a equal, there's equality in, in, in social interactions. So put it this way. If you have a lame social interaction with somebody, you may say, man, like it, that conversation was awkward all because of me. Like I had nothing to say. I never think, I, I never have anything to say. It just sucks. Like it's all my fault. Don't do that. Because hey, just say that person didn't have anything to say too. And you're like, well, you know what? That person wasn't even interesting anyway. So I'm going to move on and talk to somebody else. Keep on doing it. It's better for you to have multiple lame social interactions than have no social interactions. Because at least you could learn from those lame social interactions, okay? Be interesting. 
Have a passion, have a hobby that you're able to speak to people about. The things that you're passionate about are the things you could almost never run out of ideas to speak about. Now, some people may not be interested in their passion. Ask them about their passion. Ask them what they like to do, what their hobby is. Be interesting. Trust me, people like to talk about themselves more than like to talk about you. Okay, and that's easier for you. Ask a question, have them speak, have them ramble, especially girls. Girls like to talk, talk, and talk. Okay, if you can get a girl to talk about her passion, just be like, yep, yeah, uh-huh, interesting. Yeah, I love nails. Nails are pretty cool. I'm just joking. Never actually try to act like you like something just so you can impress a girl. Just letting you know. Or impress anybody. Don't ever act like you like something. But yeah, be interesting. Have something to speak about. Man, I was able to play instruments. I could play the saxophone, the piano, the steel pan. I do calisthenics. I make YouTube videos. I do things I can speak about. Like, come on. Think about that. I have things to speak about for myself. Have that be the same for you. Because trust me, would you want to speak to someone who has nothing to speak to you about? Think about it. Imagine if you were trying to like hook up with a girl and she was just like, man, this girl has no substance. Like this girl doesn't do anything. Like, ah, uh, you don't want to. So if you want to speak to that person, don't assume this person will want to speak to you. So that's all I have right now that I can remember or think of. If I do remember more things, I will be sure to speak on it in another video. So remember guys, be confident in yourself. The things that you cannot change about your parents, like your skin or your height, accept it, be comfortable in your own skin. The things about your parents that you can change, improve upon it. When you have lame social interactions, don't put the blame on yourself. Just say, you know what? I didn't want to speak to that person anyway. It wasn't interesting. It's not your fault, okay? Also, be interesting. Have something to speak about, okay? If, if someone is not interesting to you, then you wouldn't want to speak to them either. Another thing is talk to people. Try to learn how to build small talk. Try to get out there. Look, watch videos, read books, but apply it to your life also. Okay, so I hope this video did help you, and I'll talk to y'all next time. Done.